everybody, this is Amy from Manic Yarn, and today I am going to show you how to stuff your animals, especially those that have a lot of shaping in them. Before we start, take a moment to like my video, follow me if you want to continue to be notified about them, and feel free to share if you like. Um, you can find all of my crochet patterns on Ravelry or Etsy under Manic Yarn. And you can also check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter if you want to look around. So here we're going to stuff this thing. Um, I am actually using this super nice stuff. And when I'm doing a shaped piece, I like to use a stuffing that packs really well and this one does it just packs right up this is not regular polyfill this is actually um from a piece of furniture <laughs> that um that i i killed the pillows on when i was getting rid of it and they were perfectly clean and beautiful so here it is otherwise i like the crafter's choice by polyfill crafter's choice um, dry packing doll stuffing, which is fantastic. So, um, this is my piece. I've stuffed, I've stuffed my legs already. Uh, you can see the, yeah, you can see the front legs. There we go. Here we have the, the joints. I don't know if you can see, you got it. You got the joint, you have the shoulder, and the way I do this, this is how my grandma taught me, and it I swear it works so good that you really, really, really have to pack that stuff in there. If you're using regular polyfill, um, in order to pack it enough to shape these out, it tends to um, spring out and stretch the stitches more, I think. So... I don't like that, but if you're used to using it and it's something that, you know, you like, go ahead and use that too. So my grandma always said, use little bits and just keep going. So right now I want to stuff out this guy. I want to continue to stuff out his, his leg here, especially the, like the front part. When I'm doing my shaped piece, I want to see, okay, I've got this, I've got um, a body, I have a nice, a nice rear end here. I want to, I want to stuff that out really good and make sure this whole thing like stretches out and shows that, that nice shaping that we have. Of course, this is black, so I hope you can see it. I've got like every light in the universe shining on this right now and it's still really black. Um, so, whoops, I need the stitch marker there. Um, the way I do it is these guys. The scissors is the only thing that I have found in the universe. I've been using these since I was eight years old. Not these scissors, but, you know, I'm 50. Um, scissors just like this. These are from Dollar Tree. I also use them to cut stuff. They're actually pretty good scissors for a buck, so I've had them for years. Um, use your scissors. You can see the end isn't super pointy, but it really doesn't even matter if it is, if you're not um, stupid about it. <laughs> so I want to pack this. I want to pack it in there really good so that my leg is stiff and this guy I'm not even I'm not even gonna need um, any wire or anything in this because it's just gonna stand up and you can even bend you know bend and and pose your stuff too if you get it packed in there real nice and it won't it won't mess up your your piece so I'm just packing that in there you can see this one I've done this one's just kind of so we want to get this guy I got some stuffing in there but you know as I work on it 
it gets like loosened up a little. So before I finish it all up, I want it I want it really packed in. Now doesn't that look nice? Oh, it's so pretty. Um so I've got I want to get that all in there. And then um try to stuff evenly. Like you're going to stuff um stuff some in this side and then go over here and then you're gonna you're gonna stuff some ah, you're gonna stuff some in this side so i like to hold the piece like this so i'm actually kind of squeezing it to like the size that i want so i know where i'm at and i can also feel that that scissors in there so I mean, when you get a shaped piece, if you don't really stuff it out, you're going to miss the whole point of all that work that you did. So that's what we're doing. We got a muscular Frisian horse that we're making here. He is going to be a fire demon spirit horse. And actually, we're going to have a whole series of these guys. They'll all be... A little bit different and look super cool so this is fire spirit horse right now headless we haven't gotten to that part yet so but it's a horse you know when you're doing this you'll see the final photos and everything um, so you just want to kind of match what we got in the photo in this one you know, you got you got your nice big muscular chest here. You want to stuff that out. I do. I'm gonna do my legs first, and then get this all all stuffed out. But I'm not gonna be able to do all of it um, because I still have to work. I still have to work on it. You know, I still have to. I have to make my neck and all that stuff but but look how this is you see this uh this shaping here oh my gosh it's so pretty look at that look at that front leg oh yeah really nice okay so and you have to have like really you have to have a ridiculous amount of stuffing on hand for these did I say that already you really do you do you gotta get that stuff in there and you just keep going it disappears like nobody's business you don't even know what happened and it'll look weird for a minute till you get the whole thing all like stuffed in but uh you know we're and you don't want too much in some areas you can just kind of squish it around. Now I can't, I can't get this all stuffed out the way I want because I don't, I don't have my neck and it's gonna, it's gonna of course come in a little here and turn into a neck. But now we got this, we got this butt. I said butt. We got the butt. I'm so funny. So more stuffing. To rip it up but seriously every other thing I have ever tried to use in here is um it just doesn't work here I'm just gonna pack this down before before I get everything now I see we have a we have this we want to make sure you you did a bunch of increases and decreases right here so if you know you did that you did it for a reason and this is that reason that you want you want a horse shaped leg <laughs> and uh, this is nice because my my rear is almost finished so I'll be able to really pack it in there well I hope this isn't too boring just watching I mean like who thought let's just watch somebody stuff something you know but uh, I've had a lot of people ask I've seen it too like how how do you stuff these things so there you want to stuff it so it looks good 
don't stuff it so it's like a big stupid you know blab get enough in there to get your shape and then and then just be happy the other thing I like to do when I'm doing a big piece like this and you've seen me before go around your outside go around your outside with the stuffing real nice you know just kind of flatten your your stuffing a little get it in there once you get to this this big area here I don't know why I'm still holding that scissors I'm still holding it yeah just go lay it all around inside along the edges you know you can <laughs> it's kind of hard when you have two holes and one isn't done yet but we're gonna do our best I thought this was a nice one because he has a nice big butt and everything but uh go around your edges on the outside and to avoid it getting super bumpy you go oops, focus see that and then once you get that all lined in kind of nice you can uh, you can start stuffing plug your stuffing in the middle that you have that nice you have that nice flat layer so your outside is gonna look real nice and then your uh, your rest of it can get stuffed really really a lot through the through the center there I gotta make sure I, I layer my my tummy too get that that leg I get this leg fanned out. All right, so I don't know if you can see he's got got a nice butt here going on this side. Got I haven't packed this in yet. I mean, I should just kind of you know on the legs you're gonna pack it super much. Wow, it just takes so much stuffing. But yeah, for the for the large spaces, you just saw how you can do the large spaces, and then these spaces. Just look at what you got. You know where were your decreases? This is you want to stuff this out. He has a big thigh here. You probably don't want to overstuff the stomach because you want to keep this little shape you got going. Uh, you can see. I don't know if you can see that, but pretty nice. I mean, this guy is looking super good. I'm real happy with him. This is my first, like, nice horse. I did Witchy Becky Zebra, and she's really cute. She's, like, super petite. She has wire in her. She's actually, most of her legs and stuff isn't even stuffed, so... If you want to try a different, like, smaller horse type thing with wire, that's fun. She has instructions for, like, using the wire. You might like, oh, look, piece of yarn. Who cares? I don't care. You got spare yarn, throw it in the middle. Um, I wouldn't use it personally on the outside because it can look lumpy, but there's no reason that you can't fill out that middle with yarn. Besides that, um... Yarn is super stiff, so you're, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, yarn is nice. It it will it's super stiff and it will it will hold up great. If you're you know one of those people that's like, what do I do with all my spare yarn? And ah, look at I'm knocking over my stuff. But anyway that's what you do with your spare yarn so you can see this is that's all like squished in and flat oh I wish it was a different color for you guys but this is what we got it's always that if you watch my other videos I think you're that like this is what we got so we're just gonna work with it you know got to 
make the best of everything you do. That's that's my motto. Be happy, have fun. Um I I like really 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 hate stuffing things except stuff like this where it's kind of a it's kind of a puzzle. It's like a neat project. Ah, I like big butts and I cannot lie. Ooh, so cute. Oh, this is going to be just the nicest. This is going to be the nicest thing. Um, anyway, that's about it. I think <laughs> I've probably used up a lot of your time, but, you know, people ask about stuffing and there is a little bit of an art to it. And the other thing, when you have a shaped piece like this, remember, if you don't stuff out your, your nice areas, you're not going to get that intended look like what you were what you were wanting so you guys have a great day don't forget i'm manic yarn you can find me all over the place um on all the social media and you can find me here and i will be making a lot more videos i had a little while where i just you know, this, there's some stuff going on in the world, if you didn't know. Right now, it's 2020. I figure this video will be around for a while. There'll never be another year like 2020, will there? And we're not even going to talk about why, but here. Ugh, I'm finally getting a little Crow Joe with this guy. I love, I love him so much. I gotta stuff out his thigh here a lot. Let's get that all. Get his butt going. Yeah. All right, you guys. Um, once again, have a great day. And I love you and stay awesome. Bye-bye.